Welcome back to Good Morning Quad Cities at 11. There was a lot happening in the month of July in the Quad Cities. The John Deere Classic just wrapped up. The Bix and Davenport's in two weekends. And then the weekend after that, Rag Rye comes just north of the Quad Cities. So joining us now live to talk about Rag Rye are Leslie Webster and Matthew Parbs. Leslie's the director of the Clinton Convention and Visitors Bureau. Matthew's the executive director of the Saw Museum in Clinton. Leslie and Matt, good morning. Thanks for uh, joining us here on GMQC at 11. Good morning. Good morning. So talk about Leslie specifically. How was the city of Clinton able to get the last stop for Ragbri this year? So that actually has got to be a Matt question because that <laughs> happened before I came on board. They actually had secured it for 2020. And then of course the race, uh, the ride didn't go because of uh, COVID. And then I started my job in January of this year. So Matt was probably involved in that process. Matt, what yep. would you say? Yep, so uh, you, every town puts in like a competitive bid and then there's a, an announcement party in January. Uh, and then you get to hear that you're, you're chosen. And then in March of 2020, uh, we were planning uh, full steam ahead, had lots of great things on tap and then uh, something happened for a year. But we're really glad to come back and, and Leslie's, that, she's not joking, literally jumped. Hey, you're, you've been on the job for a day. I think your first rag ride meetings in two days. Yes. So. <laughs> Leslie, what have these first seven months been like for you on the job? Well, they've been fantastic. I love what I do and I love our town and all that we have to offer. Um, Ragby, Ragbri has gradually ramped up. So I did literally have a meeting within my first two weeks, I think. And so it's just been slowly ramping up until I think we've hit full steam in this last week where I said, okay, now I'm starting to get a little bit stressed out, but, but overall it's been fantastic. Matt, I'm interested in how the Sawmill Museum is involved in RAGBRAI. How did you get involved in this project? Why did you want to be a part of it? Yep, so we're a, a board member of the local CVB, and any chance uh, to uh, basically talk to 15,000 cyclists with 8,000 potential uh, support vehicles and their staff coming into town. Uh, we're always uh, wanting to help out. This is, this is a really great opportunity for Clinton. We know that they're going to dip their tires and most of them are going to leave, but we are, have great pride in our riverfront. And know once you see our riverfront, you're going to definitely want to come back and, and spend a, a weekend or a week here doing all that there is. Absolutely. I also think it, Matt, why don't you tell people what the Sawmill Museum is? Because there are probably a lot of people maybe who are viewing this in the immediate Quad Cities who have never been there before. Yep, so we tell uh, a great little story about our area's lumber heritage. So Warehouser, who's from the Quad Cities, joined Joyce Young and Lamb and Clinton and created a lumber monopoly. So it's a fully interactive museum for all ages. Uh, we'll be celebrating our 10th anniversary in October with basically stuff all, all the time. Uh, live vintage cuttings and chainsaw artists and blacksmiths, and wood turners, and then we do all sorts of kids activities, open seven days a week, and we really just uh, try to educate people on uh, our area's lumber heritage. In talking about rag rye, Leslie, how big of an economic boost is this going to be for businesses in your area coming up in two and a half weeks? Well, that's our goal. Hopefully, we what we want is for this to benefit as many people as possible in this town. So, of course, you've got all of the businesses along the routes, which we've intentionally routed people through our two main downtown areas. And then as they leave town, they're going to hit our third main area. So we're trying to make sure we impact as many businesses as possible in a positive way. And so, of course, they have opportunities for vendors, for sponsorships. Um, the businesses that are here in town, we're encouraging them, open your doors and, and make sure that you're ready. I, I was in the Hallmark store over the weekend. They have a whole display just on bicycle stuff. So I think people are getting excited about it and really want to, to be part of it and be part of the fun. Also, let, let's wrap up real quickly by talking about what you guys still need because there are a lot of volunteers needed for parking, not just after the bicycle riders dip their tires in the Mississippi, but also before, right? Right, so we actually, because we are the end town, a lot of people come and park here so that they're ready to leave. So we've already sold over 800 parking passes, and I didn't check today, that was uh, Friday, it was 800. 
So we are expecting people a full week ahead. So that's kind of fun for us that we get to have these multiple things, uh, multiple days of events, but we do need volunteers. And that's actually Matt's department. He's in charge of volunteers. Yep, so on July 20th, uh, basically at the Clinton Courthouse, the jail, the new EOC, uh, we've got volunteer orientation. So it's an open call for everybody that wants to volunteer at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July 20th and 5.30 again on Tuesday, July 20th. And the big needs are July 23rd and 24th. You know, what we're gonna have, as Leslie said, 800 people parking in two areas. Uh, so long-term parking volunteers. Uh, so helping people, you know, check in, get there. Then they're gonna need to know where to go. And uh, then on the 31st itself is a lot of fun. People always come up to me and talk about how uh, they enjoyed doing it the last time Rag Rye was here and we just need you again, which is lining the streets. Because uh, as Leslie has pointed out, we really are trying to slow traffic down through our town business districts. And, and that gives you a chance to, to answer questions and, and tell them where to go get a quick, a quick bite to eat. Uh, or let them know that at Lion's Tap and Bicycle Station is one party, then down on Riverfront is the other entertainment stage. The Lumber Kings will have a beer garden. Uh, there's the downtown shops that have that bicycle things. And then that long-term parking with the uh, showers and just a huge day for, on the 31st. Um, so basically the 31st is from like 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. If there's a two, three hour window you wanna volunteer to just be an usher and a greeter in, in Clinton, and show them why Clinton rocks. Uh, yeah. you, uh, you come out on July 20th. And if you can't make it on July 20th, Sawmill Museum. Yep, CVB. Yep. We'll help you. We'll help you. Leslie and uh, Matt, thank you for joining us here on GMQC at 11. Thank you. Thank you. We have